My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, the family and friends of our Lord and Sister Rosario. In God's care, we rest the Lord. In our hearts, we rest the Lord. In angel, in our lives, and in our world forever. We use these words to sing our family to Rosario Abadji, a mom, a wife, a woman, and a friend. A faithful person of sin, the rest of these you perish. May it be a love to express my deepest condolences to the family and friends of our beloved Rosario, who passed away peacefully and have followed in March with her daughters and her son on December 15th this year in her 97th year. I express my condolences to her two daughters, Stella, with her husband Mom, and Marie. To her dear friends and Ryan, to her living siblings with her families, Gretchen and Felina, and to the families of her deceased siblings, four brothers and two sisters. To all her family and friends, as we pray also for her beloved husband, Mario, who passed away some 30 years ago. A heartfelt thank you from Rosario's daughters to all the angels that work at a holy lodge who care for their one for the past six and a half years. And a special thank you to Karen and Ben, who for all the six years who visit their, their mom to engage in conversation and activities. We offer now these holy mass for Rosario so that she may fully enjoy her adolescent life. Let us pray. O God, my Father, our faith professes that your Son, God, our Lord, may mercifully grant that through his mystery, your servant, Rosario, has fallen asleep in Christ, may you rejoice to rise again from the dead. O let us pray.
A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. When this perishable body puts on imperishability, and when this mortal body puts on immortality, then the saying that is written will be fulfilled. Death has been swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your victory? Where, O oh death, is your sting? The sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord. Praise be to God. God. Dear brothers and sisters, in Christ we are family and friends of our deceased sister Rosalia. The parents who brought their children to Jesus wanted Jesus to lay his hands upon them. They knew of the hidden power, both physical and spiritual, which came from Jesus' touch. Jesus, in, in turn, rebuked, rebuked his disciples for hindering the children from coming to him. No doubt, the disciples wanted to share Jesus with the news and surprise the children. 
But Jesus delighted in the children. He demonstrated that God's love is unbelievable for everyone. No one is unimportant to God. Whatever you did to the least of my brothers and sisters, you did it to me. He comes to each person individually that he might touch them with his healing love and power. We are today in need of this healing. For Rosario's passing cost us so much grief. An artist was preparing a child for use in teaching religion in school. The chart was for younger children. It was to illustrate the mystery of death. He was puzzled as to how he would de design this, so he asked his own children what image they would use. He said three were in his mind. Three crosses on the hillside of Calvary, leaves falling from a tree, and apples falling to the ground in autumn time. <coughs> His youngest daughter, age seven, said, I think you should use the apples, Daddy. He asked, Why, darling? Because you can draw faces on the apples. The image the little girl suggested was very apt for the passing away of someone so bright and nearest as was Anna. She passed away in her 97th year. She dropped from the tree of life like a ripe apple. Her body fell into the ground, but her spirit never soars to eternal life. The image is rich, too, because it brings out the fruitfulness of her life. Young shoots which sprang from the seed of her life, her two daughters, Sarah, Emily, and her friends and Brian. They are with us here now as we pray for her eternal happiness. You know, St. John's will never be mechanized or computerized or automated, such as the bearing and the wearing of children. This is so because they depend most of all on the human touch, the presence of a loving and caring person. It is that loving touch that we all experienced from our parents from the time we were conceived to the time we left home. And indeed, even after that, as we remain in contact with our parents, that loving touch has given us either strength, security, and resilience to cope with life's problems. Rosalia experienced his loving touch from her parents and tried to pass it on to her own daughters and grandson. To withdraw to some extent from the competitive race for honors, to be the quiet, bad person out of the public eye, perhaps to accept and work with the feeling of being unimportant out of the swing of things, to be only a housewife, as some people say. All of that calls for commitment and conviction and a deep set strength of purpose to, all, to do all of that and to accept being taken for granted, to accept the passage of the years, accept the passage from the image of one's health, what we once held of ourselves, and to continue to the daily struggle to mind and provide 
for God's children. All of that is no easy task. I believe Marzano did all of that. But we do the best that we can. We never know what the miracle is rocking you. Is rocking in our lives or in the life of another. We do not know what miracles have been worked by the lives of countless parents who gave their all to their families. Death is the most religious event in our lives. Besides spirits straining and struggling in life, but also reaching out into the vast unknown of eternity, into the mystery of God, we come face to face with the veil of presence. Only a thin barrier separates us from Him. Then the paper cuts, we pass through. If we face this mystery of death with hope and confidence, we will face also God and entrust our lives to Him. We will let go of everything we think we possess into His hands and let Him take care of us. I believe for Zawi, who believed in God, who practiced her faith in this church from the very first day she came to Canada. She now stands in front of God and surrenders for her life everything she possesses to the hands of our loving God. Rosalia, in God's care, you rest above. In our hearts, you rest with love. An angel in our lives, an angel forever. Please stand. My dear friends, let us join with one another in praying to God, not only for our departed sister Rosalie, but also for the Church, for peace in the world, and for ourselves. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the bishops and the priests of the church and all who preach the gospel may be given the strength to express in action the word they proclaim. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those in public office may promote justice and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who bear the cross of pain in mind or body may never feel forsaken by God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God may deliver the soul of his servant, Rosalia, from punishment and from the power of darkness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God in his mercy may blot out all her offenses. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God may establish her in light and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God, that God may call her to happiness in the company of all the saints. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God may welcome into his glory those of our family and friends who have departed this life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God may give a place in the kingdom of heaven to all the faithful departed. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O God, creator and redeemer of all the faithful, grant to the souls of your departed servants 
release from all their sins. Hear our prayers for those we love and give them the pardon they have always desired. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Thank you. 
carrying the whole thing in that seas to gather people to yourself, so that when the rise and other side to the second, that your sacrifice may be offered to the king. Therefore, we are the company for you, by the same spirit graciously make holy these gifts which have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and gave the thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, honor me, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given out for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice and gave him thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, honor me, and drink from me, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
that he will wipe away every tear, every tear from our eyes. For see, O oh God, as you are, we shall be like you for all the ages, and praise you with our name. To Christ our Lord, for whom you have set on the world all that is good. Through thank you, thank you, O oh God Almighty oh Father. In the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Before we go to a separate place, let us take a leave of our sister. May our farewell express our affection for her. May it lead our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day we shall joyfully greet her again when the love of Christ which comforts all things destroys even death itself. In baptism, Rosalia shared in the death and resurrection of Christ. May she be welcomed into the glory of eternal life. As a sign of respect for our sister Rosalia, we let this innocence rise to God, who has called her to share in his glory. <coughs> Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our sister Rosalia in the sure and certain hope that together with her, that together with all who have died in Christ, she will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you bestow upon Rosalia in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn to us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us for me to comfort one another with the choices of faith until we all meet in Christ and I will be and your mother sister forever. Amen. Amen. Dear Rosalia, many, many years ago, you left behind your beloved Italy, you came here to Canada, and we found your new home here in Fort Colbert, in this parish, St. Teresa Luzi, where you practiced your faith. You crossed the ocean to come to your new home. Now, dear sister Rosalia, you are about to cross another ocean, ocean Italy. On the other side, you will find your new home, eternal home, where your husband is already waiting for you, where your parents and so many, and your brothers and sisters and so many friends are already there to welcome you to your new home. We believe that one day, when the Father time comes to cross this ocean of eternity, you'll be there on the other side, at the gate of heaven, with your open arms, with your smile, with your loving, motherly touch. So at this moment, dear Rosalia, we just say so long. <laughs> 
سی تر از این مالی همی فرق های بود و تشعر تاکر این قرم به اقل به سر موچن ایدونه